You know, the little girl was in school in Paris, and somebody wrote F U C K on the board. <laughs> and she looked at the teacher and said, Mademoiselle, says, what is the pronunciation of F U C K? <laughs> teacher said, That's fuck. <laughs> she said, Fuck, you know, come pre fuck. <laughs> There's no word like that in the French language. So the teacher says, you don't know what fuck mean, honey, says. That means to serve. She said, me, I see not that. Two weeks later, she come to New York. They gave a coming out party for her. They invited three of the armless cats down to that party. They was coming down and seeing one cat said, I'm going to that party and pitch a bitch tonight. The other guy said, look, you're going to some fine people's home now. You cut out that nasty talk. They go to the party and everything is going on fine. All at once, the landlady says, are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> and the bad talking guy wouldn't say nothing, just shook his head. <laughs> she looked at him and said, are you enjoying yourself? He said, yes. <laughs> so the woman said, well, dear, says, Marie says, time to go and serve the chicken. She said, me or see, madame. And she started in the kitchen and stumbled over this bad talking fella's foot. She said, pardon me, sir, while I go into the kitchen and fuck the chicken. <laughs> He looked around at his buddy and said, shit, if this is going to be that kind of party, I'm going to stick my dick in the mashed potato. <laughs> Y'all look at me. Think I'm henpecked. I'm not henpecked. I run my house. If I tell my wife to bring me some hot water, she better bring hot water. I can't wash no dishes in cold water. <laughs> Two guys were on a train. <laughs> While they was on the train, there's a guy was sitting on there with three little old kids. These little kids were running all over the train, tanned it up. <laughs> and the guy on the other side looked at him and says, Hey, so is that your boy running all over this train? He said, Yeah, come here, you little motherfucker. <laughs> and he started pumping that boy and beating him all across the head. And everything like that. And Father Vine looked at him and said, Hey, so you better stop beating that boy. Then you're going to have bad luck. <laughs> so you gonna have hard luck, son. Really hard luck beating that boy. He said, Hard luck. I'm gonna have hard luck. <laughs> he said, Brother, he said, My sister is in the baggage car dead. And we don't know why we gonna take her. You talking about I'm gonna have hard luck. You see this little son bitch here? He done running shit all over the train. And you talking about I'm gonna have bad luck. <laughs> this little motherfucker done tore up the ticket. And I'm on the wrong train. And my bond just burned down. Whatever thing in it, you tell me I'm gonna have hard luck. The day before yesterday coming to this train. That we were crawling across the desert. My wife and I. That we was hungry, didn't have nothing to eat. <laughs> that we only had just a little bit of flour in a can, so we thought that we would stop and make some biscuits. <laughs> then we didn't have no water to put in the flour. <laughs> so I told her, I said, baby, I said, you might as well pee on it and make give us some nice dough. <laughs> and she sat on the pee on it and instead of peeing, she farted and blew the flour away. <laughs> 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 